Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Gon. In our today's video, we will talk about adding and subtracting decimals. So without further ado, let's do this topic. This one is a quick video about adding and subtracting decimals because many of our students are still struggling on how to add or subtract decimals. So let's have these examples. So what we have here are four different examples on how to add or subtract decimals and I hope you will learn something from this video. So let's start with item number one. What we have here number one is that we have 13.75 plus 5.5. So the first step on how to do this or on how to add or subtract decimals is to align the given decimals in vertical form. And we, you need to align the decimal points in each given decimal. So what we have here is 13.75. So you have 13.75. And as you can see, the next decimal is 5.5. Though we only have two, two digits here, we need to align this point from the first decimal. So we have to align this one, we have this point, then copy 5 and 5. So as you can see, the decimals are aligned in vertical form and their decimal points are also aligned. So as you can see, there are holes here or blank space here. So what we need to do is to fill in zeros. So we have to put zero here. So I will use a different marker. You have zero and here, we can put zero here. So we can add all the digits. So let's start adding them. Five plus zero is five. Then seven plus five is 12. So we have to put two here and carry one. So before adding these numbers, you need to bring down the decimal here and you can add these numbers. One plus three plus five is equal to 9, then 1 plus 0 is equal to 1. And as you can see, the final answer in our first given example is 19.25. So let's continue with item number 2. In number 2, we have 8.5 minus 6.23. First, we need to align them. This one is subtraction. Copy 8.5, we have 8.5 minus 6.23. Same thing with addition, we need to align their decimal points. So that is 6.23. So we need to subtract them. But before that, if you want to notice, nyo, there's a blank space here at the top of 3 meaning we need to fill in 0 here for us to formally start subtracting these decimals so let's try 0 minus 3 this cannot be so we will borrow 1 from 5 so it will become 4 and we will put in 1 here and it will become 10 so 10 minus 3 is equal to 7 so what we have here since we borrowed 1 from 5, it became 4. So we can subtract them. 4 minus 2 is equal to 2. Then bring down your decimal or copy your decimal here. Then subtract the last numbers. 8 minus 6 is simply 2. So as you can see, the final answer in item number 2 is simply 2.27. So for others, this kind of stuff are very easy but for those students who are struggling here I hope you learn you will learn something from this video now let's continue with item number three for number three we have 4.32 plus 12.16 if you want to pause the video and try to answer this you can do that okay you can pause the video so I will continue and later on you can check your answer whether it's correct so we have 4.22 4.32 4 plus 
12.16 so this is your decimal and we have here 12 so the digits are not equal so we have 16 here so we can add them here we can put or we can fill in 0 here so that we can formally add them so let's try 2 plus 6 is 8 3 plus 1 is 4 then bring down your decimal 4 plus 2 is 6 then 0 plus 1 is equal to 1 and this is now the answer for item number 3 we have 16.48 let's continue with item number 4 and this one is subtraction again copy 46 point three minus three point align your decimal point six and seven so as you can see there are black spaces here so we need to fill in zero here and here so we'll subtract them zero minus seven is cannot be so we will borrow one from three it will become two this will become 10. 10 minus 7 is 3. Subtract this. 2 minus 6 is cannot be. We will borrow 1 here from 6. It will become 5. And this will become 12. 12 minus 6 is 6. Then copy your decimal point here. 5 minus 3 is 2. Then 4 minus 0 is 4. So here is the answer for number 4. So I hope guys you learned something from this video. And let's try. You can try this example for number 5. This is your assignment guys. Huh? I hope you will answer this. And you can put your answer in the comment section. We have 2.1 plus 21.83 here is the given guys so I hope guys you learned something from this video if you're new to my channel don't forget to like and subscribe but hit na rin yung bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads again it's me Tisher Gon Maraming maraming salamat. Bye-bye. By the way guys, I will put the link of the other videos about decimals in the description box. So, thank you.